What's up guys, Johnny May here and welcome to this week's quick tip where I'm gonna be teaching you my three stock primary chords. These are three very simple chords that you can use to jam over just about any tune. And in this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play them in a swing style over the tune Ode to Joy. Check out what it sounds like. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the lead sheet for Ode to Joy, which basically just shows you the simple chords. And I'm gonna teach you how to use these chords to come up with some really cool swing grooves. Now this lesson comes from my full length course, Intro to the Keyboard for Complete Beginners. And if you're new to the keyboard, this course gives you the full foundation that you need to play the keyboard with success. You learn your very first groove, which is super simple. You learn all of your note names and strategies for how to memorize them. You learn proper posture, proper playing technique. You learn 10 different exercises to help you strengthen and gain control of your fingers. And you learn five tunes. But the best part is that you learn these tunes in five different styles, including jazz swing, Latin jazz, cocktail jazz, blues, and pop. So if you wanna check out the full length course, there's a summary at the end of this quick tip. So guys, let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, the final part of this lesson is where we're truly breaking away from the sheet music. And you're going to learn something very, very special that most classical teachers do not teach. And this is how to play a lead sheet, okay? Now you might be thinking, Johnny, what's a lead sheet? What are you talking about? Well, a lead sheet is the way that jazz musicians learn how to play the piano. And that is with chords and melody, okay? Check this out, guys. You may have noticed this, but there are these letters here above each measure. There's a C, there's a G, there's a C, there's a G. What does this mean? Well, guys, this is your first introduction to a lead sheet and how to play a lead sheet. The basic idea is when you take a lead sheet, the way you approach it is that you look at the chord and the melody and the measure that it's on, and then you jam on that chord, okay? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at each measure and we're gonna try to jam over these chords, a C chord, a G chord, a C chord, and a G chord, okay? Now, what chords do we use? I mean, that's kind of a lot to learn your chords this early. Well, guess what? You already learned them at the very beginning of this course, guys. I taught you three chords, C, F, and G, and guess what? You are already ready to jam out on this tune using th these three chords, but I do wanna recap. I wanna go over these chords again to make sure you are absolutely comfortable with these chords. Okay, the first chord you're gonna see is a C major chord, okay? Now, I don't want you to worry about, well, what's a C major? How do you create a C major? We're gonna talk about that later on in our courses, uh, in the courses you watch, but I want you to be able to just get the feeling of grooving, because this is really important for piano. The chord you learned for C major is C, G, and E in the right hand, okay? And hopefully now this makes a little bit more sense now that, now that I've taught you C position and your finger numbers and proper technique, okay? C, G is pinky and a thumb, that's five and one, and then middle finger E, that's gonna be your three finger. This is your C chord, okay? And here's the idea, guys. Anytime you see a C chord on a measure, that's your chord. Does that make sense? It's a pretty simple idea, okay? The next chord you really need to know is an F major chord. Now, in this particular arrangement, there aren't any F major chords, but you will have F major chords in other songs. So this is an important chord to know, and you may remember it, it looks like this. C, A, and F, that's pinky, uh, thumb, and ring, five, one, four, okay? That's the F major chord, okay? You guys remember this groove? Okay, that's all we're doing here. That's your F major chord. The chord you need to know, or at least the other chord you need to know for O to Joy is this beautiful uh, G chord, which is an altered chord, okay? If you remember the name of it, then you're doing a good job. It's called a G7 sus4. It's a jazzy kind of chord. Don't worry about the theory. Just think about the notes, C, F, and D. It's got a nice, kind of a happy sound, kind of a mellow, it's just, I don't know, it has a longing to it. It's just, it's a nice, nice chord, okay? We're gonna use this on the G chord, okay? C, F, and D, okay? So once again, the two chords you need for this song 
our C and then G, which will be there. Okay, let's walk through the arrangement, guys. Again, we're approaching this like a lead sheet. Most classical teachers do not teach this way, and this is something that makes our courses very special here at Piano with Johnny's. You're gonna learn both. You're gonna learn how to read sheet music, but you're gonna learn how to jam. You're gonna learn how to improvise. You're gonna learn how to have fun. This is really where I see music as being really, really fun, is being able to play lead sheets, uh, play blues, play grooves. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the quick tip and I just wanted to quickly let you know that the lesson sheet music that you're seeing on the top left and the backing track is downloadable in the membership at Piano with Johnny. So you guys can check that out in the link below and let's go ahead and hop back into the quick tip. Okay, first chord, we got a C on measure one. What's measure two? It's a G. Measure three is a C. Measure four is a G. Goodness gracious, it couldn't get simpler than that. We're just moving between the two chords. C, next measure is a G. <laughs> C major, G major, and C. Guys, truly, it doesn't get simpler than this, but I'll tell you what, when you start jamming, it's gonna sound great, okay? So a big thing I like to do with my students is to demystify jazz. A lot of students think they gotta learn these big, huge chords, and they gotta learn these super technical scales, but check out this arrangement. You're gonna be swinging here, sounding like a pro with these very, very simple chords. Um, and this is what I like to do, simplify it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and play these chords in time, meaning I'm gonna just keep a beat with you guys, okay? And then we'll do it with the track, okay? And then I'll show you a swing groove, okay? Here we go, play along with me, C major, and what we're gonna do is hold each chord for four beats, okay? Here we go, ready, play, C, two, three, now to G, two, three, and back to C, two, three, four, to G, two, next line, C, a two, three, and up to G, a two, three, and to C, two, three, and G, back to C. Now you may notice at the end, we're holding each chord only for two beats. We gotta change it up here because the chords change sooner. Prior to the last measure, we're holding each chord for four beats, but remember in the left hand, on the last measure, we go one, two, three, four, okay? So just make sure to do that on the last measure, you go, right, uh, uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's the basic idea. What I would do next is try to increase your tempo and get it to about 120 BPM. And once you can do it at 120 BPM with your metronome, then try it with the track. It's gonna be sounding really good, okay? Let's do it like this, and then I'm gonna teach you a really simple swing groove, okay? Here we go, guys. We're playing the chords with the backing track and play along with me. Here we go. Four, C. guys got that? All right, that's the basic structure of the tune. Now, are we swinging? Mm, not really, we're just kind of holding the chord, you know, it sounds okay. But a jazz pianist, which I'm training you to do here, by the way, you're, I'm turning you into a jazz pianist, if you haven't already noticed, and a classical pianist. But what I want you to do is I want you to groove on this chord progression, and there's a very, very simple swing groove that you can use all the time, if you're playing a, a swing uh, tune, this is my go-to swing ry rhythm. It's the easiest it gets. And if you watch our swing courses here at Piano with Johnny, you'll, rec you'll realize I use this rhythm all the time. But this is how it goes, guys. It's super simple. It goes like this. Do you guys hear that rhythm? Go ahead and try playing along with me. I'll go a little slower this time. Two and three and four and You guys feel on that groove? Now I'm not gonna get into the specifics of how to count it, because it's a little complicated to explain, but I, what I want you to do is focus on the feel of it. You'll notice the first one's short. You guys notice that? So this is something that you can practice, is just working on this basic swing groove with the first chord short, second chord long. Okay. 
Once you're feeling good about this, try it on both chords. We'll go C, ta, 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 now to G, ta, 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 back to C, ta, 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 back to G, ta, 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 back to C, ta, 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 back to G. I want you to give yourself a huge pat on the back because you're doing something that, to be honest with you, a lot of students will go through years and years of classical piano and then they want to learn jazz and then they learn this stuff. So you're, get, you're getting way ahead of most beginner pianists. A lot of teachers don't teach the swing stuff too much later on and you're already swinging. So I just want to give you just a huge congratulations that you're able to do this. And again, if you want to play jazz piano, you want to play blues, you want to improvise, you want to play funk, boogie woogie, whatever style, you got to understand this concept of grooving, okay? So this is a big deal at Piano with Johnny, is being able to groove. All right, you ready for this, guys? Well, we're going to play with the backing track. We're going to rock this thing out. You ready to do this swing groove? Go ahead and play along with me. You'll hear four counts, and we're going to rock the house. Here we go. That feels good, doesn't it? And can you believe it? If you've never played the piano before and you're already playing jazz, that is so cool. And I just want to tell you guys, you know, back to this point is, uh, you know, I had some really cool teachers who, who taught me this stuff, you know, at a pretty young age. And you can play jazz early on. I just want to de demystify it. If you want to play blues in these styles, you really don't need to learn a ton of crazy chords. Now, I want to make a final note before we end this lesson, and that is you can change the rhythm. I, I mentioned earlier changing the rhythm on the melody to make it your own. Well, you can change the rhythm on the groove to make it your own, okay? I'm going to just mess around here with the groove. I'm going to have a little fun. I'm going to play some other grooves, but this is something I encourage you to do is to try your own grooves, okay? Ready? I'm going to use the same chords. I'm going to follow the form. The form is a C chord on measure one, a G chord on measure two, a C chord on measure three, okay? But I'm gonna do some different grooves, okay? Check it out. there. If you can do that, I just want to give you, again, huge props and great job. You're playing jazz already as a complete beginner, so great work. All right, guys, this concludes today's quick tip. Did you enjoy the lesson? If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and if you're new to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Now, if you've enjoyed this lesson, I want to give you a quick summary of what's inside the full-length course. Now, in lesson number one, you're going to learn the keyboard layout, and you're going to learn all of the notes and how to find the notes, but before we do that, I'm actually going to teach you your first groove, and guys, this is a super simple groove. Check out what it sounds like. In lesson number two, I'm going to teach you all of the note names and some simple tricks for how to find the notes. In lesson number three, we're going to talk about the piano pedals and what those do. We're going to talk about our finger numbers. We're going to talk about how to have good posture at the piano and how to play with proper technique. In lesson number four, I'm going to teach you five of my favorite warm-ups and stretches so that when you sit down to play the piano, your hands feel good. In lesson number five, I'm going to teach you the C position. And this is a very simple five note position that you can use to play literally hundreds of different beginner tunes. I'm also going to teach you a very simple fingering exercise so that you can gain control of your fingers. And then I'm going to teach you the most common note values that you're going to see in most beginner music. In lesson number six, I'm gonna teach you two exercises that help you with walking up and down the notes. And then I'm gonna teach you how to play Ode to Joy in a swing style. Check out what this sounds like. Your 
you're also going to learn my three stock chord positions. And with these three very simple chords, you can jam out over just about any tune. In lesson number seven, I'm going to teach you exercises three and four, where you learn how to walk in groupings of three notes. And this is a very important technique. And then I'm going to teach you the tune Mary Had a Little Lamb in a Latin style. Check it out. In lesson number eight, I'm gonna teach you two exercises that help you outline chords. And guys, this is a very important technique if you want to accompany other musicians and do stuff like this. And then I'm going to teach you an original tune in a jazz ballad style. In lesson number nine, I'm going to teach you two more exercises that help you play thirds at the piano. And this is a really useful technique, especially when you get into like Latin music that has cool rhythms like this. Then you're going to learn another original tune in a pop style. And in lesson number 10, I'm going to teach you two more exercises that teach you how to pivot off the low note C. And guys, this is a super important technique if you want to play blues and boogie woogie, stuff like this. And then you're gonna learn Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in a blues style. Check out what this sounds like. And finally, in lesson number 11, we're gonna talk about how to structure your practice time so you practice with success. We're gonna talk about how much time you should be practicing, how to divide up your time and what you should be working on, and then when you're ready to pass this course and move on to the next course. So guys, there's obviously a ton to learn in this course. So if you wanna check out the full length course, you can get it at pianowithjohnny.com. I'll put a link to that below. And be sure to also check out our other courses. We have a ton ton of beginner courses that teach you all of the keys, teach you uh, scales and chords and how to play different tunes and different styles. And then we have a ton of other styles that you can learn to play at Piano with Johnny like jazz swing and cocktail jazz, Latin jazz, funk, boogie woogie, pop. Guys, we have the full learning platform. And be sure also to check out the Piano with Johnny membership. This gives you unlimited access to all of our videos and we add new videos every single month. And you also get to be part of our live monthly events. We do a live monthly Q&A where you can ask me practice questions. We do live monthly workshop lessons where you can ask me questions during the lesson. We do weekly challenges for our members and we just have a ton of fun. So go check out the membership. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next quick tip.